What's on YouTube? It's PTT back at it with another Division video. Today guys, I bring you a video on a topic that I know people need. I know that not all people need it, but some do. And if this even helps just one person, then I'm actually going to be really happy. So today's topic is the optimization station and it will be done in two parts. The first half of this video will explain how the optimization station works and the second part will be a helpful guide on how to optimize in the correct way because I see and hear at the moment of far too many people optimizing gear in the wrong way and forgetting so many of the basic lessons and steps of making a build. So yeah, if you want to know how to optimize your gear in the correct way and in the most effective way, well stay tuned. This video is made for you. So let's jump into this guys, Optimization Station 101. What is it and how does it work? Well, to quote directly from Massive, gear optimization provides an all new way for agents to invest in their favorite gear and achieve the perfect min-max build for their playstyle. Agents can take any of their gear to the new optimization station and spend division tech to improve the quality of the item stats towards their cap. Now, this can get a bit confusing, so let's have a look at exactly how it works. On screen now, you will see an image of my personal classified striker's gloves. I have them rolled to firearms with crit hit chance, shotgun damage, and crit hit damage. Now you can also see my armor roll and the gear score number in the top right. You will also notice a lot of green arrows next to all of these stats and a colored bar that shows how good the roll is. So currently, unoptimized and untouched, my striker's gloves are, well, pretty awful. I have a red bar on the firearms roll, a red bar on the critical hit chance, but the armor roll and crit damage are mediocre and they have orange bars to show that. And of course, the shotgun damage is maxed out here, so it actually has a green bar next to it. Now, these gloves could be rolled in this state, guys, and they would eventually hit the maximum for all of their stats armor roll and gear score but that would be very expensive and well division tech is still a very rare commodity so we have to do some pre-optimization rolling at the recalibration station first but we'll actually touch on that a little later when we get on to how to optimize effectively so back to how this works if you look at the bottom of the screen you will see a requirement of 250,000 credits and 50 division tech and that will give you one optimization roll and that's hopefully where you can see guys that optimizing in the wrong way can be very expensive and it's a lesson that i've actually learned the hard way so what do you get when you optimize well very simply you get your stats increased one roll will boost all available stats. So it's not like the recalibrations in a sense that one optimization roll would increase my firearms roll, my critical hit chance roll, my critical hit damage roll, my armor roll, and my gear score level would increase also. So yeah, you do get far more out of one optimization roll, but it is far more expensive and normally it only increases your stats by a small margin. Now to show you how the optimization station can obviously be put to good use, I will pull up my Nomad gloves. These have been recalibrated, optimized, and are very nearly fully optimized, meaning all the stats and gear score are at their highest. So with these gloves, you can see that all my stats bar firearms are green. So all three glove stats, crit chance, crit damage, and SMD damage are fully maxed out and are unable to roll any higher. My armor roll is maxed out at 1001. And all that is left to get is my firearms from 382 to 1401. This will probably take one or two more rolls at the optimization station, but when it has been done and all the glove stats are maxed out, the gear score will be maxed out too. Now it's worth noting here guys that it is not just your gear that can be optimized, weapons can be optimized too. So let's take a quick look at a weapon. Here is one of my urban MDRs. As you can see, it has a poor gear score roll, a poor enemy armor damage roll, and a poor base damage roll. Now compared to another one of my urban MDRs, you can see that this has slightly better rolls, and this can again be achieved through optimization in the exact same way you optimize your gear. You spend 250,000 credits and 50 div techs, and you can roll it once. One roll will increase all of your stats by a small amount. If we look now at my lightweight M4, you can see that this weapon is fully optimized, and that is indicated by the item is fully optimized text prompt in the bottom left, but also by the fact all the bars are green and can be increased no more. Now this obviously means that this lightweight M4 has the maximum amount of base damage, enemy armor damage, and gear score. So yeah, it is very nice, and it also means that now you don't have to go and grind like mad to find a weapon with the exact same rolls that you already have, but with say a 2% higher enemy armor damage because now you can just optimize your current weapon. 
Now, hopefully that gives you a good rundown on how the optimization station works, guys. But if you do have any further questions or can think of anything I've missed, then let me know in the comment section down below. Now let's move on to how to optimize your gear in the most effective way. First, let's look at the basics. You obviously need to recalibrate your gear to have the correct main stat and minor and major attributes that you want for your build. This can be done in the recalibration station. Then you're going to want to try to maximize your rolls via the recalibration station first, as much as you can before you hit the optimization station. This can be extremely valuable as the recalibration station requires normal credits and not division tech. If we look at my striker's gloves again then, as an example, I can re-roll my critical hit damage to get a higher roll than 15%, and this will mean I need less rolls at the optimization station before these gloves obtain fully optimized status. Basically guys, you just need to remember that one, it is far cheaper to do some pre-optimization via the recalibration station than it is to just roll the stats you want and then hit the optimization station straight away. And number two, re-rolling stats to as high a value as possible via recal will give you a stronger build far quicker than waiting for the div tech to do the job for you at the optimization station. Now I also feel I need to remind people that the, you can actually re-roll two stats on classified gear pieces as I've noticed a few people still don't seem to be aware of this fact. Now then, let's talk about the optimization stand and how you can use it in the most effective way. So when you've rolled all of your gear and you're happy with where it is and then, you know, it's time to optimize and improve. This needs to be done though in a very particular way if you want to make the most out of it as quickly as possible. So firstly, you're going to want to roll your holster. The reason for this is the holster has all three main stats, firearms, stamina, and electronics, and it only has one major attribute. So you always get to re-roll the main attribute and pick one of the main rolls to increase at the recal station, and it means that you can increase your overall firearms, stamina, and electronics, all with one bit of gear. Bottom line guys, dropping a few rolls into maxing your holster first will increase all three of your main stats, whereas any other piece of gear will only increase one main stat. Then we move on to the second bit of gear to optimize. Now, me personally, I would always say your gloves should be the second. This is where you get a fair chunk of your damage from. So increasing and maximizing these will help you deal more overall damage more quickly. From there, I would personally roll the chest piece. The main reason for this is that most builds still have a best in slot health roll on the chest, so increasing that via optimization will increase your survivability. And then there is the fact that the armor roll on the chest is the highest of all your gear, so that will also increase your survivability. From there, it comes down to your personal build and your individual rolls. Look at what is the weakest bit of your gear and roll from there to finish optimizing all of your gear. Now, something that I really do have to note here, guys, when optimizing is that when you're rolling, if all of your stats are green and the only thing left to optimize is, say, the armor roll and gear score, then maybe move on to something else. My Nomad build, for an example, I am swapping optimization between gear, as all the main stats are maxed out on certain bits of gear versus others. So an optimization roll that only increases the armor roll versus an optimization roll on a different bit of my Nomad build that increases my health, my stamina roll, my armor, and my skill haste at the same time is far more worth rolling than just re-rolling, say, my gloves again for a few numbers of armor and gear score. Eventually, I will obviously fully optimize my build, but for now, it's all about maximizing stats as quickly and effectively as possible. Now, I think, guys, I have pretty much covered everything in terms of how the optimization station works, how to optimize effectively, but again, as I said earlier, I'm a human. I may have missed something, and if I have, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, fire any questions you have in the comment section down below, and I will do my best to answer you. But for now, agents, I hope the video has indeed helped you. If it did, then a like would be super appreciated. Consider subscribing if you're new, as I have a ton of new Division videos coming your way soon. But for now, guys, have a good day. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.